What's up guys, Bloodshed here. Today we're gonna to talk about how to farm gold and gems in Diablo 3. I think we've had a lot of new players come back to the game or returning players. Or you know what, with the, the power creep or like with Paj Monk or Whirlwind Barb, running hundreds faster than you've ever run before, people are running out of gold. So like if you're doing speeds all day long, you're just gonna be out constantly. Like a 109 empowered is uh, 108 million per run. We do about three runs per 10 minutes. So you're looking at, you know, 300 million per 10 minutes, 330 million per 10 minutes. You're definitely not making that when you're doing greater rifts, right? So you're spending more than the income. People are running out of gold and they keep asking me all day, blood, what do you do to farm gold? Um, I probably spend about four to six billion a day farming greater rifts, like speed farming with, you know, friends and all that stuff. So what do you do to farm gold blood? So I'm gonna talk about two things. I'm gonna talk about the normal thing and then the super try hard thing. Normally, you should probably just work in a Boon of the Hoarder with a gold wrap combo. So the Boon of the Hoarder, when you kill an enemy, there's a 100% chance at level 50 to cause an explosion of gold. Um, what you're seeing in the background is footage of me just doing testing to make sure I was giving you guys the correct information. Just using that alone, I was getting around two to 300 million per run. I actually got my average achievement on accident just filming the video and not even paying attention because I was just like doing some, you know, some testing and some footage just to kind of see what my average was, even playing solo. So if I was in a group, I would actually get more gold fine. So I actually got the average solo. So you can see that just literally doing that, you're going to like greatly increase your gold fine. Like every time you do a rift and you have to do a rift, to get keys and all kinds of stuff every season. You're gonna be speed farming rifts anyway. You might as well try to fit in a Boon of the Hoarder, but it's not absolutely necessary. It's just the bare minimum. So that's not when I get the questions. When I get the questions is when I go over here to my armory, right? and I go down to uh, gold farm setup and I equip it, and people are like, yo, what is that? What, 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 what are you running? What are those? Why are you using these weapons? Why aren't you using the bulk Athos weapons, you know? So this is my gold farm setup. I have about uh, 55,000 uh, gold farm, and it could be better. I could probably get to 70K, honestly, if I put it everywhere. This is like a functional version, and no matter what class you're playing, I always will make a functional version of gold farm. Like, what's the bare minimum I can kill greed and not totally hinder my group? Now, if you have a group that's like, yeah, man, wear whatever you want, you know, and things like that, or I just like to be somewhat useful, so I don't like to totally hinder my character. So you can see I still have my six piece uh, whirlwind set and lamentation belt to do the most of my damage and everything else is just gold fine, like gold Kimbo's gold, gold skin, all that stuff. I'll put a few links in the description. Um, they're like older, but they have like lists of gold farm items you can look for. I'm going to cover some of them today, but just if you want like a complete list, it might help you out. So if you run normal puzzle rings, you're going to get about like, again, like two to 300 million. It's the same thing as running Boon of the Hoarder on T16. They did up the drop rate if you haven't been around in a while. Um, it used to be 4,500% gold fine on T13. Even back in T10, it was 29. So you can see from T10, T16, it's now 7,000 uh, gold find. So back in the day, we had 2,900. I think they designed Avarice around 2,900. Back in the day, so now it's like, you know, way more than double on T16. So you're getting more gold easier than ever before. So T16 just with the boon is really powerful. Running puzzle rings on their own isn't really, use, isn't really beneficial either because you're not getting that much gold for it. It's kind of fun to do, you know, once in a while to mix up your gameplay, but it's not really efficient. But if you boost it with a, a gold build, right? So now I have 50, 55,000 gold find. And it doesn't really hinder my gameplay. We're still able to kill T16. And you know what I mean? We're not wiping and being inefficient. Like we're still functional. It takes that two to three billion and I was getting consistently around 600 million. So two to 300 million. Now it's at 600 consistently. So a couple puzzle rings. Now you're looking at 1.2 billion. And you know, normal puzzles are fast. You're not picking up loot. Obviously running ancient vaults are always good. Like even without a boosted gold find, ancient vaults are just lucrative. There's just a lot of goblins and you can get tons of gem goblins and gold goblins and stuff like that. So ancient vaults are always good no matter what, but regular puzzle rings are kind of useless on their own. I've been throwing them on the ground, deleting them. I have a bunch, right? 
you definitely want to save them if you don't play a ton of Diablo. So this is like what I saved this season so far. <laughs> that survived me just salvaging it, right? So if you have to run basic puzzle rings, I would run it with a boosted gold build. And I think you'll see great success. That's what I do. So I'll cover some gold items now that I would use for this gold farming build. The Devil's Tongue. So if you play a monk or a barbarian, you have a chance to get a Devil's Tongue. You, I think they have the highest potential in the whole game just because they can dual wield gold items, right? So the Devil's Tongue can get up to 80% gold fine. The Sun Keeper can get up to 80% gold fine. Really nice items to just dual wield there. The Gold Skin, I think, always rolls, yeah, with 100% extra gold kimbos can get up to 100 mine only has 90 so i gotta fix that that's gonna bother me <laughs> today on stream we're fixing it yeah kimbos can get up to 100 hysterian i have it because it just always rolls gold fine and i was lazy and um yeah so does uh, avarice ban always rolls gold find and um i even use boon in in vaults when you're killing things you're getting an explosion of gold there um i have a leoric's crown in the cube and then I always wear a green gem. You can see I have a green gem here. They're like, yo, blood, why are you wearing a green gem, man? Because it gives me a gold find, 41%, and then it's doubled with the Lyrox crown effect. Ideally, each piece of your whirlwind set would have gold find on it. So like these pants have it, my primals don't, my gloves don't, my shoulders do, right? So you can see ideally you would have it on each piece. And um, that would just, it's just more efficient, right? You can just, it gives you more stuff to look for. It gives you more things to build. I kind of like that gameplay. I have a gold build. I have uh, different group setups, a push version, torments, a different group, right? So it's nice to have different things to farm for. And um, it's more interesting for me every season to do things like this um, as it, um, yeah, more builds, more gear, more things to basically pay attention to. If you're a demon hunter and you're like, wait, man, what, am, what about me? You can get a raven wing or a raven flies to your side and you get up to 80% extra gold find with that so if you're a demon hunter yo keep an eye out yeah some of the links i found are older but like they have avarice band they have them kind of listed for you guys gladiator gauntlets just different gold items that are affected by gold in general so here's the old reddit post just talking about things that don't even exist so profane maybe this is a bad link yeah profane i think they renamed some of this stuff harrington waste guard always rolls with gold fine that's good to know Blackthorns always rolls 30 to 32% gold fine. Oh, the three police Blackthorn does give you a gold fine bonus. Okay, so yeah, maybe I'll try to, uh, maybe I'll try to fit in a three piece Blackthorn, but I don't want to lose my whirlwind set. I don't want to go full leech mode, but if your friends don't care, whoever you're playing with doesn't care, you can go full leech mode. Hammer jammers always roll with gold fine. So it's good to know these little things that you can look for. And um, I'll put it in the description. Okay, so it has the Raven Wing, Devil's Tongue, and Sun Keeper here also. That's basically gold. Use a boon uh, in Avarice and all that stuff. Or even, you don't even need Avarice. Just use a boon for T16. Wish Doctors have a pickup radius, um, the Thing of the Deep, so you can rock that and boon and you don't need an Avarice band. So just use, uh, just use boon for T16. And when you run vaults, don't do vaults unless you have a boosted gold build, at least a little bit. Um, we ran with somebody today from our community and she had about 40,000 gold find and she only got like a couple hundred million less than me uh, running a four player like vault, like ancient vault. It wasn't that big of a difference. So even if you get like in the 40s, maybe you'll notice a huge increase to your gold, right? 40% more income. Yeah, I would like to wake up to that, right? <laughs> For gems. These gems is what I got from a regular vault. So just a regular puzzle ring. So regular puzzle rings are garbage, right? We talked about it. But they're pretty good when you have gold find. And they're pretty good when you have, uh, when you need regular gems. So they're good for gems. They're good for gold once you have boosted gold. Um, you're getting about 20 plus Imperials per run. And if you put a broken crown in the cube, it'll double the effect. It'll give you another gem of that same type. So if you're really starving for gems, you can run bounties with the broken crown. You can run vaults. You can run torments. The same concept, right? The Lyorix crown doubles your gold gem. The broken crown doubles whatever gem drops. So just inherently get extra gems. And uh, don't forget, if your gems are lopsided because you're augmenting or something, there is a cube recipe where you can flip your gems around. So any nine gems, 
you put in the cube, you can trade them with essences to flip them around. Like so if you have, for whatever reason, if they're lopsided or if you're using the broken crown, you're going to get double whatever the color is in your helmet. So you're going to get double that gem. So they're going to be lopsided for sure. You just go to Squirt the Peddler. You're in Act 2, right? Act 2, Hidden Camp. Squirt the Peddler. And let's say I want more red gems. You just have to buy it. So it's 500,000. And now I can take nine gems from here. Let's take uh, nine Topaz. It could be any type. You can even do like Imperial, Royal, like whatever. It doesn't matter. And then this will turn them into red. And then boom, now we have nine more red gems to go so there's a cube recipe that you can flip your gems around it's a uh, recipe number six and you can also do that as well but if you're really starving for gems just use a broken crown um, you can put it in the cube like instead of your gold build maybe you switch to a broken crown instead of leorix so you're still getting tons of gold but now you're focusing on gems right so that's pretty much the best way to farm gems for an ancient vault with 55% gold find, I was getting 1.5 billion per run. It is super varied depending on if you're in a group or not. Like if you're in a group, actually, you're getting more gold find. So it's called a strength and numbers buff. So you definitely want to run them together if possible. Demon hunters also have ferrets. Ferrets give you more gold find. So definitely let us know in the comments below. People always check the comments. And um, if there's any tips and tricks you guys have. We got some patrons to thank, always supporting the stream. We got Swole. Yo, Swole, thank you for uh, joining the Patreons and supporting the stream and all that stuff. It really means a lot, man. And Jeff B. Yo, Jeff, thank you so much for taking the time to, to pledge and support. Means a lot. Joshua, Thomas, if I missed anybody, Martin, and Nir. Thank, thank you guys. Yeah, I really do appreciate anybody that takes the time to uh, support the stream and what we do here. Um, new hardcore episode coming in, what's today, Monday, in a few days from now. New podcast even closer. The podcast will probably be out tomorrow. Hope this video helped you out. Remember, we'll have links in the description. And um, I'll be live soon. You can ask me questions. That's going to be all for me today. This is the Bobo Bo Bo Bloodshed, and I'm out of here. Peace.